this is Wendy from Perfectly Gorgeous Papercraft. Thank you for clicking on to my tutorial today. Today I have a really awesome easel card to show you. It folds completely flat and then you just pop him up and stand him up so that he sits behind the little flower. Isn't it awesome? perfect for a thank you for a music teacher or anybody that's into music and um, yeah you could put I've put thank you but you could put um, happy birthday or absolutely any sentiment to you like you could even use a just because so anyone that likes music which um, yeah I know a lot of people that love music in in my family so I'm going to show you how to make this today and First off, I'll show you what you're going to need. Alright, let's start assembling the card. So you're going to just burnish over your score line on both of those. And then just with your black piece that measures 5 inches by 4 inches and you have a piece of DSP that measures the same and you just need to uh, attach that onto there so with that one I'm just going to use my Tombow glue and we'll just pop that one down once you've got all your pieces cut for this it's really simple just to pop him together. So once you've done that one, you can then glue that onto your little flap here. So I'm just going to put some Tombow glue on this piece. And then that piece can be popped 
onto there. Make sure that's glued on properly. There we go. And we can just fold that flat. And with your black piece that measures three and a half by three inches, just using your Stamping Up Labels Collection, and it's the second smallest one. So you just go into place that down onto your cardstock and run that through your big shot. And then you will get your lovely cut out, which we're just going to Tombow glue onto there. Just place that one onto your card. There we go. With your small black piece, you have scored that one, so just fold that in half and really burnish that score line to make your little shelf and then we'll just glue that one onto the bottom of here. So again, just using the Tombow glue, apply some of that down and pop down your little, it's a music stand and then we'll make our little book, our music book to go on there. Go. So pop down your, your music stand and then to make the book using the, the four pieces of the DSP the reason I use four pieces is obviously because the other side I don't want to be able to see that so we're just going to glue these together so you've actually got the music on both sides so we'll just do that with both of the pieces, just making sure obviously that you've got your music notes the right way up. And once you've done that you can just fold that in half and do the same with the other one. Just fold him and place one of them inside the other one and then we might just burnish that as well on both sides. And basically you're just going to run a small line of the Tombow glue and glue that one inside the other one. We might just hold that in just for a few seconds just to make sure that that's nicely glued. And then you're going to do the same to attach it to your, your little music stand. So just open them up a little bit. So on the back we're just going to put down the Tombow glue not going to go right to the edge because I don't want it to squirt out everywhere and then you're just going to glue that one onto your stand so again we're just going to hold that just for a couple of seconds just to make sure it's well and truly stuck I love this music DSP Unfortunately, it's not stamping up. And as you know, probably 95% of the products that I use are stamping up. But occasionally, there's things that I need that stamping up doesn't have. I know that they have had this, um, the music DSP in the past, but I've used it all up and they don't have it at the moment. So, yeah, just your local craft store, hopefully they'll have some in there. Alright, I'm just going to let that sit there for a moment to dry and then we can start working on the next piece. So bring in your piece of DSP, 
we'll just Tombow onto the back and attach that down, lining it up right up against that score line up the top. There we go. And the next thing you're going to do, and this is probably the fiddliest little bit, and that's attaching all of these white word window pieces. So just right up against the edge to start with for your very first one. Leave a tiny gap down the bottom, just a little piece, and then just one by one, glue them all on. So using the Tombow, because you do get those few seconds before it actually sets, a little bit has come out the side there, just get rid of that. Just leave a very small gap between them so that you can see a little bit of the black cardstock. the end with the very last one just going to pop a little bit instead of putting it on the, the piece I'm actually going to pop a little bit onto the card because I don't want it to squirt out over the edge because we're going to have to trim this one a little bit so just pop that one down Now that one has gone over the edge a little bit so once that's dried we will trim that. But next we're going to go ahead with our black ones. So again a little bit of glue onto the back of that. We'll leave a tiny gap and then we'll place our black keys down. You don't worry about this piece at the top because obviously that's going to be covered. Once you've done all of those, I've actually got a spare one there, so um, we won't worry about that one. Then with our remaining piece of black cardstock, just pop your Tombow glue on there, and we're going to hide all of those, the tops of those keys. So just glue that one down. I'm just going to slide that up so I can see a little bit more of them. Just have a look and see how much of them you would like to see. Once you're happy with it, yeah, we'll attach that piece down. And now this one's going to be dry. So we're just going to come in and snip that bit off that's hanging over the edge. There we go. Now just here I have used the Bird Builder Punch just to get two of these leaves and this is um, the old olive. I'm just going to pull off the, the stems a little bit because I don't want all of those on. Trim those off, tiny little bit of Tombow on a couple of those leaves. No, it doesn't want 
to come out. A bit stuck in the end there. little bit of that Tombow on there and then we're just going to place that down do the same with your other one and pop that down as well Right, now with our flowers, to get our gorgeous little flower, I've used the boho punch, but I didn't use the larger flower. And I just wanted the flowers to look a little bit old and rustic. So I've just screwed them up. And then just open them. Even with the little tiny one that is actually using this flower punch. I screw him up. Oh, a little bit hard to, to open that one. Alright, and then a bit of Tombow. And pop that one onto there. You just go into layer them up. And a little bit of Tombow again. And then the smaller one in the middle. Then just with um, the rhinestones, just pop one in the middle. There we go. And then what I did, just with um, a craft knife, just pull up the leaves so that they all stand up. So just go around and, and do all of that. And then yeah, you'll have your gorgeous little flower, which all we're going to do is a little bit of Tombow again, good old Tombow, and pop on your beautiful flower. Just hold that one down. Yeah, so the sentiment that I'm putting on this one is thank you. This one's actually going to go to my daughter's piano teacher. And probably make another one for my son's piano teacher they have different teachers and then that sits up a little bit because you've pulled up all of those leaves and then that will hold up and that's what turns it into the gorgeous easel card so with your thank you just teeny tiny sentiments we're just going to pop that one on there so just with the tiny little foam mounts, just going to pop three of those on the back. Put on our thank you. Have a little fluff around with your music book. Open up the pages a little bit, and there it is. Beautiful piano easel card. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun creating one of these. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.